Obviously, when you eat a plant-based diet, you have a diet that's low in sugar. Sugar is definitely reduced. If you're doing it right. If you're doing it, yeah. Right. So how big of an issue is sugar when we talk about heart health? Yeah, so hot, hot button. There are those that were a bit um, inappropriate with their research funding and all in the 60s. There's really just three doctors that are known to have taken some money from the sugar industry and alter the slant on a very research-oriented paper that probably nobody read. I've read it, but it wasn't exactly like the, uh, the cover of Time magazine where everybody was seeing it, and that's obviously wrong. And there was a vigorous scientific debate in the 60s and 70s spearheaded by Ansel Keys on the side that sugar matters, but nowhere near as much as animal saturated fat. He never, his data, I, I'm sort of a mini expert on Ansel Keys, clearly showed dietary sugar was related to coronary heart disease. It just wasn't related nearly as strongly, even after multivariate analysis. If you factored sugar out and left saturated fat in the studies, it predicted the development of disease. If you factored saturated fat out using statistical methods and left sugar in the program, it didn't predict coronary heart disease in studies. That was an era, however, when America was thinner, when metabolic syndrome was less common, when insulin resistance, presumably because of uh, obesity, was less common. Um, and it's a bigger issue now than it ever was. And clearly it appears that uh, excess dietary sugar, which is just crazy, I mean, uh, from so many different sources, although there is a drop in the last 10 years in, in uh, U.S. average dietary sugar. Um, but it is a probably causal factor in atherosclerosis, and it is one that we should teach. And if you do a whole food plant-based diet right, um, you know, you'll be eating fruit, but that doesn't seem to cause much of a, if, and it's probably very beneficial, but, um, you know, there are abundance of paleo cookies, vegan cookies, you know, keto cookies, you know, they're not going to have really sugar in them. Uh, you have to watch, you know, the, the, the food industry's response to these food trends or food fads and stay away as much as possible. So, I mean, I like a dessert as much as the next guy, but it should be a pretty rare event if it's not called, you know, an orange or an apple or a bowl of berries or something.